Hi guys, welcome to the fourth episode of the Golang and React full stack chat application series. Now, uh, in the third video, we built the chat input component completely, and now we'll start focusing on our header component. All right, so here we'll say const header. We'll use a functional component here and we'll say div class name is equal to header. So we're using a functional component because this component doesn't <laughs> doesn't do anything. It just uh, returns an h2 tag with some text like let's say go and react chat app so that's it so it's a very very simple component now what we can do is we can work on the CSS a little bit so we'll say dot header and we'll say background color so I've taken this color, you can, uh, since, you know, I'm really bad at CSS and you could be better, you can select any other color that you want. give it a padding from everywhere 50 pixels just to make it so the css that i'm doing is like bare minimum the very basic bare minimum css that you know uh, i can get away with <laughs> that's all i'm doing because uh, you know i don't know how to use css actually so i'm sure i'm sure you already know how what css is and how you can use it much better than me and you can you know feel free to Uh, change these things all right so I, I've been a react developer I've been a golang and node.js developer but CSS is something uh, you know not learned but probably probably I'll start learning it now uh, like I know the basics but like the advanced stuff uh, those things I don't know but I'm planning to create a course on how to build uh, let's say something like Facebook or something like that from scratch using react and then CSS so I'll have to learn it uh, <laughs> but anyhow for now I think this this is quite possible for now. So our header component is complete along with the CSS. And last time we had done our chat input component, but we had not done the CSS for it. So let's quickly uh, do some basic CSS here as well. So we'll say chat input. auto and the input tag itself will give it a padding of 10 pixel now if you get bored by CSS then you can skip this section completely the CSS part and you can uh, you know I'll leave this code in uh, github so you can just pick it up from there if you want like I'll leave the code after this uh, series is complete once I complete this project I'll leave that code in github this five pixels and then border one pixel solid Five pixel RGPA zero comma zero comma zero comma point one. All right, so 
we've given it a box shadow we've uh, defined the width we've given the border and border radius and basic stuff like font size and margin and padding like very very basic minimal stuff to you know uh, like uh, you know at least make it a little bit presentable so now i think what's left is our index com sorry the, our message component and our chat history component so let's start with the message component so we'll say class message now we're uh, creating our message component before our uh, chat history component because ch the chat history component is going to require the message component so here we'll say extends component constructor props Yeah, so it basically parses a JSON, there's dot props dot message. And we'll define a state also for this. The state will be message temporary. Let's make it temp. Alright, so whatever uh, props are coming here, we'll parse it and we'll store it um, as a state in a variable called message. Straightforward. And now we'll just uh, run a render function. So we'll say render return semicolon here, semicolon here. At the end, just write export default message. And here, We'll give it a class name. Message. This dot state dot message dot body. All right. So uh, all that we're rendering here in this message component is this dot state which is this dot message and the message basically which is temp has a body that has been passed right as part of this props so that's all that we are uh, rendering here in this component quite straightforward and now we'll start working uh, let's actually work on the css for this and then we'll move forward to our uh, chat history component. CSS is going to be quite straightforward. So we'll say message and display block, background color, hashtag B to B1, B9. Margin is 10 pixel auto. And after margin, we'll use some box shadow, zero, five pixels, three pixels, minus five pixels, and RGBA, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, point two. And some padding, 10 pixels and 20 pixels, and border radius, five pixels and clear and then some color 70 comma 28 comma 28 and float right background color ff e d a three so this is it. I mean, <laughs> I know it's just not even 15 lines of CSS code, but this will basically 
you know ensure that the uh, uh, the project doesn't look complete you know uh, shit i mean there's a little bit at least little bit of presentation there so this is the bare minimum uh, i could do to you know to, uh, keep it from looking like complete shit basically <laughs> So this is your CSS for the message component. And now all we have to do is work on our chat history component and the chat history uh, CSS and then our, and then probably a couple of more things and then the, C the front end is at least complete and we can start working on the back end of this project. So I'll keep this video short and uh, do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of this series comes out. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode.